Hello, this is Knit and Crochet Together, and I'm Eve. And I wanted to show you how to do the fourth row of the pebble stitch without hurting your shoulders or your back. You just put it into the horizontal stitch. Ah. And then immediately into the next stitch. Put it into the horizontal stitch. Immediately into the next stitch. Put it into the horizontal stitch. Immediately into the next stitch. Put it into the horizontal stitch. Immediately into the next stitch. That way you don't crook your shoulders, make your back all twisted up. And this is just the tip for the fourth step of the pebble stitch. It really helps to do it this way in, instead of knitting one, knitting into the next horizontal stitch, knitting one, knitting into the next horizontal stitch. That hurts my back. I gotta go into the horizontal stitch first and then straight into the knit stitch into the horizontal stitch first and then straight into the knit stitch like this all the way across it makes it a lot easier on your shoulders and your back and it really helped me be able to keep going on this I was about to give up because my back was hurting so much okay this is a good tip for you at knit and crochet together and my name is Eve this is the pebble stitch and I'm making a panel for my window or if you wanted to you could use it on your doorway to keep out insects I'm going to be putting this up on my window when I'm done I'll take a model of that and kind of play around with the idea of putting it on the kitchen doorway if it were longer thank you